Hey guys, thinking of moving to Roseville, California, where you're going to want to watch this video because I'm about to go over the pros and cons of living in Roseville, California. Pro number one, family friendly activities. In Roseville, you have things like Golfland Sunsplash that has the water park and the miniature golf. You have Top Golf. Plus, there are over 70 parks in Roseville, California. So it's a great place for families. Pro number two, golf resort living. So when I talk about resort living, there is Morgan Creek where you can have houses on the golf course. There are a few other ones here in the area, but there are over 30 golf courses within a 15 minute drive. So if you love golf, then Roseville is the place for you. Pro number three of living in Roseville, California, shopping. So we have Westfield Galleria Mall, the second largest mall in California. They have everything from H&M to restoration hardware, all the big stores. They also just added uh, movie theaters and they even have a place where you can store your kids or uh, have your kids hang out uh, supervised while you go shopping or have a date night. Right across from the Westville Galleria Mall, you have the Fountains, which is an outdoor shopping area that has everything from Sephora to Sunglass Hut to DSW Shoes and some food places. Number four pro of living in Roseville, California, the job market. So we have uh, big hospitals here like uh, Sutter, Kaiser. We also have some tech companies, HP, there's also Sacramento, it's about 30 minutes away. So you're gonna have lots of opportunities for jobs here in the Roseville area. Pro number five of living in Roseville, education. So Roseville is among the top. Placer County actually as a whole is well known as having good schools. But in Roseville, greatschools.org will rate Roseville schools, everything from the elementary schools to the high schools, eights, nines, and tens. Pro number six of living in Roseville, California, proximity to day trips. So you have Thunder Valley, which is in the neighboring city of Lincoln, where they have an event center, where they have people like Bruno Mars or Fluffy, if you like uh, comedy. But also within a couple hours, you have the Bay Area, you have Lake Tahoe. You can actually go 30 minutes up to Auburn and go on some hikes. Lots of opportunities. We're kind of centrally located to everything. Number seven pro of living in Roseville, hospitals. So hospitals close by, we have two level two trauma hospitals. We have Sutter and Kaiser that open 24 hours for you. Number 11 pro of living in Roseville is the utility cost. It's 11% lower than the national average and it is owned by the city of Roseville. Number nine pro of living in Roseville is safety. Roseville overall, I've lived here for several years. Roseville was the 76th safest city to live in in 2022. Number 10, rounding out our list for the pros of living in Roseville, California is food diversity. This is by far my favorite because I'm a foodie, but if you want amazing sushi, you got Makunis. We have a couple Brazilian steakhouses. We have Korean, we have barbecue, we have Italian, pizza, everything you could think of. We have amazing food options here in Roseville. If you'd like to see some restaurants in more detail, check out my YouTube channel where you can see actual reviews of restaurants. All right, let's get to the cons of living in Roseville, California. Number one con, power lines. The power lines are gonna go through any city, but some people it's a deal breaker, some people it's not. But there are some areas where you will have power lines right in your backyard. Second con of living in Roseville, California is the traffic. Traffic is nowhere near the Bay Area or LA, but we do have some traffic on Highway 80, Highway 65, especially where it meets. You'll have a lot of traffic in the morning and the evenings, just like normal traffic, but you will have traffic both in the mornings and the evenings. Con number three of living in Roseville, California, freeway access. So there are several exits along Highway 80 and along Highway 65, but again, where they meet, it gets a little tight. So when you're looking at freeway access, there are opportunities to take back roads to avoid the freeway depending on where you're heading. Con number four of living in Roseville, California. When we think of new homes in Roseville, we're typically thinking of West Park or what we would consider west of the road Fittyman. Now, new homes, when you say, how is a new home a con? New homes can be a con just because they're underdeveloped. A lot of the new homes will have very uh, tight spacing in between the houses, smaller lots, smaller backyards. But even though I would consider it a con for some people, sometimes it's a pro because you're in a brand new neighborhood that's growing and most of those neighborhoods have new schools. Number five con of living in Roseville, California, walkability and nightlife. So Roseville consists of three zip codes. You have about 160,000 people. So it's not necessarily a place unless you're down towards like downtown or old town Roseville. 
where you have that walkability where you can you know walk to local restaurants and coffee shops and things like that and it's not really a big nightlife scene for uh, nightlife scene you driving about 20 to 30 minutes to Sacramento. Number six con of living in Roseville, allergies. So it's very commonly known that Sacramento, the Sacramento region is kind of like a bowl. And so you will typically have issues with allergies um, in the spring and the summertime. Seven con of living in Roseville, California, the fire season. So over the past three, four, five years, California has kind of been known for its wildfires, not in a good way. It doesn't affect the residents initially, but the smoke uh, will come down from the mountains. So we will have a high amount of smoke sometimes in the summer, depending on the fire season, just something to think about. All right, finishing off our list of cons in Roseville, California, we have number eight, higher prices. So when you're looking at Roseville as a whole, uh, in Placer County in general, uh, which consists of many cities other than Roseville, Rockland, Lincoln, Granite Bay, Loomis, we're naturally going to be higher than Sacramento. At the time of this video, the average sales price is right around 650,000. That is going to change depending on where we're at in the market. Hope this was helpful for you, but this is just the smallest piece of the guide that I've created specifically for you. The ultimate guide to moving and living in Roseville, California. Now, you can download this guide right now. The link's gonna be in the description. So just go ahead and go download that guide where you can find out more about the actual neighborhoods. You can find out about the safety and all of the things you'd like to know when considering moving to this amazing city of Roseville, California. So go ahead and download it now. Hey, listen, also, if you're thinking about moving here at all, just pick up the phone and give me a call. Send me a direct message. Reach out to me directly. I love to answer any questions you have. If you'd like to explore living in Roseville further, then check out my playlist living in Roseville now, where I actually go through neighborhood tours, parks, restaurants, all the real estate information you need to know. Check it out now.